Hey everybody, it's Adam here. With, uh, I'm Blue Collar with Blue Collar and Scholar Whiskey Pairing. Uh, yeah, we've been doing blogs at our website, uh, bluecollarandscholar.com, for about a year now. And uh, we decided to give it a shot with these video logs, or vlogs if you will. So the first one I'm doing is... Uh, is uh, one of my favorite spots here on Vancouver Island on the Comox Peninsula, Point Homes. And uh, let's see if we can give you guys a good shot of that. Beautiful spot on the beach. Kind of a break between the winter storms. It's nice and sunny, about minus two degrees Celsius with a wind chill. Well, not much wind right now, but they're saying minus seven, so go figure. Um, the whiskey that we're pairing today is not your typical whiskey that we would pair. Uh, what's going on with the focus here? There we go. Um, the whiskey we're pairing today is blended whiskey called Cuddy Sark Prohibition. The thing I like about this whiskey and the reason I chose it is that it's bottled at 50% ABV and it's non-chill filtered uh, which ticks two of the boxes off as far as I'm concerned when it comes to whiskeys I like to drink. Um, anything stronger than 40% uh, usually closer to cast strength is what I prefer. Um, the other nice thing about this whiskey is it doesn't break the bank. It's actually very reasonable. It's $40. <coughs> so there it is in the glass. Let's see the color. Nice coloring for a blended whiskey. Uh, the cool thing about uh, Cuddy Sark Prohibition, it pays homage to a Captain William McCoy, who was a smuggler back in the 1920s from the Bahamas to to the east coast of the U.S. Um, he used to anchor just outside U.S. waters and international waters and and uh, let people come to him to buy the whiskey and, and others, alcohol. Um, <clears throat> he was notorious for not cutting or watering down the alcohol that he sold. A lot of the organized crime or, uh, and, and, and smugglers used to cut their alcohol or, or, or water it down to make more profit. Well, he didn't and he became uh, very well known for that, Became a re got a bit of a reputation and and uh, rumor has it the saying, the real McCoy is where that saying can, comes from. Uh, so, for like I said, the first thing I like to pair it with is the this beautiful uh, Oceanside Walk that I went on here and now I'm sitting on a big chunk of driftwood enjoying a dram. Um, <clears throat> BC has its own colorful history um, on prohibition and smuggling. Um, here in BC we actually had a prohibition before the US prohibition so it was from about 1917 to 1921 and it uh, created a boom in um, illegal drinking dens and speakeasies and uh, and smuggling, bootlegging. I'm just going to put my drink down here because there's so many coming by and uh, drinking on the beach is kind of frowned upon here so I'm going to try and make it not so obvious. <coughs> Sorry, just getting over cold I've had. So anyway, yeah, so 1917 to 1921, and then after that, the BC liquor laws were were still very strict. Um, so it was kind of a natural progression for all these uh, organizations that had set up shop in BC to start rum running, if you will, or bootlegging down south of the border for the U.S. prohibition. Highly profitable. <clears throat> so that's why I kind of linked this Cuddy Sark prohibition to... 
sorry, just got interrupted there. I had to stop recording. So that's why I kind of linked the Cuddy Sark Prohibition to a beautiful walk on Vancouver Island Oceanside. Um, the next thing I'm going to pair it with is some amazing whiskey fudge. It's a dark chocolate salted whiskey fudge with Lafroy quarter cask whiskey. And then I'm going to also pair it with a dark chocolate, milk chocolate, vanilla, mint fudge uh, and see the differences. First off, the whiskey itself. Where are we? There we go. The whiskey itself uh, has a really nice, simple palette. Um, you get a lot of citrus, oak, uh, some toffee in there, and a nice long peppery finish. Um, at least that's what I found. <clears throat> Just gonna take a sip. Yeah, very nice citrus, uh, spicy finish. Um, the 50% ABV probably helps in that regard. I added a bit of water to it last night and just brought out the toffee more and the oak. Uh, it was really quite nice. So, <clears throat> let's uh, try a piece of fudge with that. Okay, so here we have a nice piece of Lefroy quarter cask whiskey fudge with sea salt. Take a small bite of that. fine with this fudge it really brings out the oak the oak comes right to the front <clears throat> had to take a couple of sips to get like the full effect of it yeah yeah big oak um, still have a nice spice flavor, salt and pepper, um, with a really nice, uh, almost light smoky finish. Uh, really quite enjoyed that. <clears throat> I got some people sitting behind me now, so I gotta try and do this a little bit more on the sly. Okay, so here we have the, the mint chocolate fudge. You can thank Wendy Drummond, my mom, for making that fudge. Delicious. Anybody that's been to any whiskey tastings in the Comox Valley or Powell River, Sunshine Coast, knows about my mom's whiskey fudge. <clears throat> so, with this fudge, there's no oak at all. Um, I just get like after eight chocolates, chocolate raisins. Really, really nice, nice flavor. Not a lot of spice. Um, just a huge arrival of mint and chocolate. Very, very nice. Anyway, to wrap things up, uh, 
for the price, I say go for it. I typically don't drink a lot of blended malt whiskeys, um, but this time of year when bills are high and money's, money's low, uh, it's a good one to snuggle down with and try. I'm looking forward to trying pairing it with other things as well. Maybe maybe uh, something barbecued, like ribs or steak or something like that. Something savory, smoky. Anyway, till next time.